Good morning. Did you see it? Did you see it? James scored three. I scored two. Predicted us both getting a hat trick. Didn't happen. I got I got interviewed live on the radio before the match, and I said seven nil, and it was ten or eleven nil. The scoreboard broke after nine nil, so we're not actually sure how many goals we scored, but we absolutely pouted to plumbers. So today we've been asked to install some of these. You've probably seen these turn up in Screw Fix or wherever you get your bits and bobs from, and these are four light, and they are by Ansel. So today we've got a little job to go and install six of these in a carport. So I'm just going to go and get James. Um, but I just want to let you know a few things I do like about these lights. Come in IP65 bezel. You can buy them individually or in a pack of six. These are dimmable. Four switchable colours. They are seven watts a piece. 54,000 hours lifespan. Four year guarantee. We have a detachable light fitting with pushing connectors. We all know how good the pushing connectors are. So let's go and get James and let's smash this job out. Right, here's the, here's the ceiling in question. You might look at this and think, <clears throat> immediately think asbestos. Okay, it's not. This is built in 2000 and it was banned in 1999. So we're going to get our power up through in the bedroom up there. It's got a big vaulted garage ceiling like, it's obviously a carport. So we're going to drill through here, fish through into this ceiling. Six spots in here with a presence detector in the middle. So James has just rang me. He's going to be five minutes late. So, um... It's quite local to him, so he's going to bring his own car and uh, he's going to meet me on the job. Naughty boy. So what I'm going to do first is take a measurement. I can, you can see where the timbers are here. It's, it's, it's great, this board. It's not plastered. So you can see where the timbers are. They run this way. It's fully clear. So we'll probably go one line in there, one line in there, equally spaced. One, two, three, four, five, six, with a presence detector in the middle. Here he is. What time do you call this then? It's a good job you scored a hat-trick in that game, innit? I've done half the job, come on. So what I've done is mark a 700 off the beam, a 700 off that end, strike my laser up, and then we're going to measure one, two, three lights in the gap. Well, we've come in 700, we've come in 800, we've come in 800 today, you just about see it. And then we've got our centre one here. What we'll do, we'll put the PIR sensor here and just do two rows of uh, six. They said we can use a kettle, James. Okay. Yes, get it on, please. Talk to me, boy. Very nice. So where, there's, there we go, look, there's the switchable switch. So we'll probably have these on four, daylight or three, depending on what it looks like. We'll have a look at the end. There's your pushing connectors and uh, driver that you can just put out of the way. Look, you can even... You could even fix it up out of the way if you wanted to. Probably not suitable, but... And then there's the light. Fire rated. 30, 60, 90 minutes with a bezel. And the bezel is removable as well. For painting. Installation instructions. Not if you're a Sparks. So we've got our d aid day to day And then we've got our 73 mil cutter, which you can see on your installation instructions. 73 mil cutter. Okay. Whoop. I'm going to drill these out, six holes, and then get it wired. Do you know what's even better about this? Screwfix and Fallight actually sponsored the electricians uh, in the charity football match. In the time it's taken him to get me a coffee, I've drilled all six lights out. We're going to boss some one mil round now, put IR detector in the middle, and then drill a hole from upstairs bedroom to get our feed down. So here we go, we've got a potential ring final in this socket here, uh, is isolated. It's gonna mark up uh, next to here, install a single back box, like so. Mark it and drill it first to make sure it comes out in the right place. So we're gonna measure from this external wall inwards, and then that, that garage roof, carport, comes up like this, okay? So we have gotta make sure we're in that. If not, we've gotta drill down on the angle to make sure we get inside the roof and not pop out uh, the wall uh, where the flashing is there. All right, James has run downstairs just to have a look at this angle I'm drilling on. Um, I've done a bit of extreme drilling on the angle into the roof. Right, we've managed to fish through our supply cable. We've just got to get that now over to that. That's our um, switch line. And then we mount the PIR and the six lights and then do the work up in the bedroom. 
<laughs> okay, so that one is wired. I just got a nip to my house about 20 minutes away. We're doing a, I'm doing a little project to my house, um, a little re-extension. I bought my own digger, done, got my own structural uh, plans, got building control coming round today. So she's got to look at the footings. So if you're interested in that and you want to know how that process all works, I can do a separate video of a build at my house. <clears throat> Just let me know down in the comments if you want to see that. If not, I won't mention it again. But we're going to go meet building control, see if she's happy with what we're doing, and then I can progress that build. We'll come back here. Uh, finish this one then we've got another job to go and do um, if we get time we'll vlog it if not we'll do it on a separate video right we're back building control very happy what i've done we just got to expose some more footings and then i can dig do dig in my trench and then we can get a back round to check the footings and then uh, we can fill it with concrete anyway we're going to get back on with this job we're going to second fix these lights pir go up in the bedroom james is going to go and do some chasing in the bedroom um and then we'll show you it all working We've just done another little video just to show how easy these are to connect and in all honesty they are they are really quick to connect and I do like the fact that you can unplug the light from this um, driver. We're setting these all to 4k which is if you look on the if you look on the on the cct selector you've got a very warm white 3k 4k and then daylight white so we're going to be middle of the middle of the spectrum there if you like so if you're doing a big project and you've got a, a lot of spotlights these work out at 54.98 for a pack of six so you divide that by six so that's roughly nine pounds 16 each so say nine pound each which once you buy a lamp and a bezel and a body, it's about the same price. And if you've got sort of restricted access to the floor above, just so you know, these are two and a half inches to this plate. And obviously you lose, you're losing the bit because if that driver was on there, so once that driver sat on the ceiling like that, uh, you only need two and a half clearance to get these lights to fit. What's up, James? That's all right. All right, well, James has just got two more to second fix. I will show you this uh, surface mounted uh, presence detector. So that it's very straightforward. Live neutral nerf, L1. So live neutral, double up the neutral on the switch line. Double up the earths and then your brown that goes around your light fittings will go to our one. As soon as that detects a presence um, when it's dark enough, it will switch this on for the allocated time that you set that little switch there. Okay, I remember what I was just saying about the PIR. This is our this is our feed that comes from our fuse spur. So you've got your live neutral and earth. And then this is our switch line. So neutral doubles up, CPC doubles up, and that's the switch line that will switch when the presence detector is um, activated, that will bring the lights on. Right, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, presence detector, we've left the bezel off because we will do a walk test in the day and then adjust it to the nighttime setting. We'll now go back upstairs, finish off in the bedroom. Okay, we've got our uh, single box chased in. Um, did it quite nicely, doesn't need to make good there now. So that unswitched spur will go on there. We've got a new socket, because that one's a bit naff and a bit old. Just a new socket to freshen up that next to it. Um, client just mentioned that they should have got a USB, but um, we'll just fit that and then we'll come back at a later date and change that for a USB for them. Um, gonna do some end to ends on this now to make sure our ring is good to break into. And then if you, if you think about what we're actually loading up on this, we'll just put a three amp fuse in there because there's six lights at seven watt with a PIR. So, it's less than one amp. And just a little word of advice, if you're not using the top and bottom lug, flatten them down and make sure you've still got the adjustable lug on the side so you can get that little adjustment if you need it. And I'm not even knowing about it. Can you just um, film that please? Please. No. Okay, 
So let's do an end to end on the tester first. Cool, right. Knives. Mm -mm. 43 one. So neutrals, James, want to be? Same. Same. I'm gonna get the helicopter to come past. 0.32, little squeeze, 0.31. Lovely. And then this is proper 2.5. So this should be 1.67 times higher. Yeah, yeah 0.47. So we connect into there and then we're going to do our earth loops and stuff outside. <laughs> is it? Yeah. That's all right, James. That's beautiful. We're straight out now, yeah? Yeah. Is that white one, mate? Yeah, you put it somewhere. Where are you from it? You put it in there, did you? No, you just... Oh, I don't know. You can't say we don't clean up because we have we have wiped around. Look, it's pretty neat. Leveled it all up now. We're going to go downstairs and have a look at the lights now. Right. Let's see if he, uh, if he comes on nicely. There we go. Quite a nice light. Obviously, if you don't like the white, you can uh, you can change that yourself. But there we go, and then I'll get some footage of this at night. I'll get the client to send me some footage at night. But yeah, really nice light, nice output. It's gone off. We've got it on the shortest time, so walk up to him, and on it goes. So yeah, all in all, beautiful job. Set <laughs> again. Oh, well, we just um, had a little bit of a blonde moment, as you say it, but um. It was coming on, but if you read the instructions, which I rudely threw away with the lights, um, there's a mode and it tells you about test mode and stuff with this one. So we've sorted it out now, got it working, not activating during the day, and it will only come on at night. And then the next video you'll see will be um, the client sending me a video of what it looks like at night. Um, oh, he's overtaken. Look, we just did a we just did a call out. The client rang, said he's had some nuisance tripping on his RCD, so he's got a main RCD which is controlling about it's really poor design, six six or seven socket circuits. So we just did a ramp test um, with a tester, and it turns out um, six six milliamps. So uh, that that's no good. I'll put your picture on the screen. Look. Uh, we just showed that to the client. He's happy for us to get a new one and fit that, but um, next week we're off. So James might come on his own and do that. But yeah, that's today done. We're gonna go and do another little job, but we won't film it because we just want to get in and get out because it's Friday and we want to go home. So thanks for joining us. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know if you want any more videos on my extension that I'm doing. See you later, bye-bye.